Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm back with another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror written by women and today I'm going to be talking about A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. The Nest of Nightmares is a collection of 13 short stories by Lisa Tuttle and it was originally published in 1986. The tagline on the front says, Into the worlds of loneliness, anxiety and fear, which I think gives you a good idea of the contents here. This is a really excellent collection. I rated it 4 stars out of 5 and I definitely recommend it. There's a great mixture of tone and content in these stories. Some of them are quite light-hearted, whereas others are really dark. There are some that involve supernatural elements and some that are very much grounded in reality. There are a lot of really interesting themes in here. Existentialism, feeling like you don't belong, there are themes of being a woman and the different aspects that come with that. I would say a lot of the stories here are quite bleak and there's just a general sense of unease and feeling like things aren't quite right. First up is Bug House, which is about a woman who is trying to get away and spend some time apart from her husband and she decides to call on an old aunt of hers who she hasn't seen in quite some time and when she arrives at her aunt's house the house is not in a good state and neither is her aunt and she's really worried about her and is trying to get her to hospital or at least be able to help in some way but the aunt is adamant that everything is fine this was a great opening story. It was creepy and gross and I really enjoyed it. Next up is Dollburger, which is a quick and fun story about a little girl and her dolls. Community Property is a story about a couple going through a divorce and they are having to make a decision about what to do with the dog that they both love but neither wants to see the other one take the dog with them. Flying to Byzantium is about a science fiction author who is invited to be a guest at a convention. She has spent years trying to escape her hometown and escape the person that she was and become someone new and with writing this novel that she has out she feels she's at the place she wants to be and now that she's back she begins to regress from the life that she has struggled to create for herself. I accidentally missed one. It is called Treading the Maze and it's about a couple who are visiting Glastonbury and they find a maze near where they're staying and it's quite a strange and sad story and it has a touch of folk horror to it. Next up is The Horse Lord. This is about a family who move into an old family home and it turns out that an ancestor was killed there by his horses that he kept and there is some kind of ancient curse on the land. Need is about a student who has a fiance back home and since she's only going to be there for a year she doesn't really see any need in making friends but she meets a guy who seems to have noticed her on multiple occasions previously and wants to get to know her better. The Memory of Wood is about a couple who buy an old chest at an estate sale and it has this terrible smell to it and one of their young children starts to become quite curious about the chest. The Other Mother 
is about a woman with two young children who has put her artwork on the back burner for some years and now she's trying to get back into her painting and one day she sees this figure that she thinks is a ghost and it inspires her to start a new painting. A Friend in Need is about a woman who had an imaginary friend when she was a kid and now as an adult she's at an airport and she sees someone who reminds her of that imaginary friend. Stranger in the House is about a woman who revisits her childhood home. Sun City is about a woman who works a night shift at a hotel. She is going through a divorce and she starts to have these nightmares and these visions of a presence. And she's also remembering a really disturbing incident that happened to her some years ago. And finally, The Nest is about two sisters who buy a house together and they find something strange in the attic. And as time goes on, the visions they had for this great time living together don't work out and their relationship starts to break down. So as you can tell, there are a lot of female focused stories there are a lot about relationships and motherhood and families and there are themes of loneliness and hopelessness. There are themes of belonging and of wish fulfillment and it was a really great collection. As with most short story collections there were some I liked better than others but they were all at least good and some were fantastic. My favourites were Bug House, Community Property, Flying to Byzantium, The Other Mother, Sun City and The Nest. I do want to mention that this edition is out of print and it did take me quite some time to track a copy down but there is some good news. Valancourt Books are going to be reissuing it I believe later this year so I definitely recommend getting your hands on a copy. And also I wanted to mention the artwork, which is wonderfully creepy, is by Nick Bantock. So those were my thoughts on A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle, a bleak and unsettling collection. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!